In this video, we'll use a computer model to illustrate how aquifer thermal energy storage, or ATIS, works. Let's take a look at a location in Massachusetts. We'll see how ATIS uses separate portions of the aquifer to store winter cold for summer cooling, and vice versa. We need at least one cold well and one warm well. These wells charge and discharge the thermal stores seasonally. Here's the finite element grid that was constructed to simulate groundwater flow and heat transport in the aquifer. As we zoom in on the warm and cold wells, we'll get ready to simulate five years of operation starting in winter of year one. Ambient temperature groundwater will be pumped from the warm well through a heat pump. Chilled water exits the heat pump and is injected at the cold well, where the cold store is charged over the winter. Let's stop the simulation after the first winter. Groundwater in the cold store will remain cold into the summer when it can be used for cooling. Because ATIS delivers cooling energy from a seasonal store, the cooling is very energy efficient typically using 60 to 70 percent less energy than conventional air-cooled chillers. Restarting the simulation, it's now the beginning of summer and we can see the cold store discharge while the warm store is recharging. This cycle continues for four more years. Note that the temperatures we're using are only a few degrees above and below the ambient groundwater temperature, which is about 50 degrees Fahrenheit here. And there we have it five years of sustainable heating and cooling with aquifer thermal energy storage. Thank you for watching.